Have you been trying to break into the world of cybersecurity, but keep getting told that you need hands-on experience to land a job and not quite sure how to get hands-on experience without the job? Well, today I'm gonna to give you five different tips where you can get hands-on experience and show employers what you're learning along the way. This is more likely to show employers what you're working on and your continuous learning. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is Alt Function, my name is Jen, and today we are talking about five different ways that you can get hands-on experience to get hired in cybersecurity. Okay, so you've got a couple of certs and you're feeling really good about jumping into the world of cybersecurity, but here's the problem is hiring managers keep asking for hands-on experience. So what does it even mean? What is hands-on experience? Do they mean putting your hands on a keyboard? or what. Today, I'm going to give you five different examples of hands-on learning techniques that you can use to share with your network and even put on your resume. So why would somebody need hands-on experience? Well, first off, as of right now, June 2024, the market is incredibly saturated with people that have base level certs like Security Plus, A Plus, and Network Plus. You may even have a handful of these certifications and wonder why you can't land a job. This is what you were told. You were told these were the base level certs to get into cybersecurity. Well, the problem is visibility. And where I think this is a great opportunity for job seekers is to show what you are working on. Show your employers that you are active in the cybersecurity community and continuous learning. So let's get to some of the examples that you can use to up your game in the cybersecurity job market. Don't get overwhelmed. A lot of the examples that I'm going to give you don't require that you go full hacker mode in your basement. All right, so suggestion number one is going to be for my more extroverted friends is to go get with extracurricular cybersecurity communities and clubs. Being part of these communities is not only great for your in-person network, it's also great to put on your resume and share with your professional LinkedIn community. You can share collaborations, projects, or anything else that you learn during these events. Number two, start a blog. You can talk about your experiences, things that you're learning, or things that you're generally just interested in. You can talk about current events or really anything cybersecurity. No matter what you're involved in, a blog is a great way to share with your network your continuous learning path. Number three is hands-on learning platforms like Try Hack Me or Let's Defend. These hands-on learning platforms give users the ability to comprehensively learn different cybersecurity skills like incident response, threat hunting, and penetration testing. My recommendation would be whether it be on a blog or a LinkedIn profile, share the experience experiences that you're having with these hands-on learning platforms, what you liked about it, what you're learning, and how you overcome problems. This will show potential hiring managers your problem-solving skills. Alrighty, next up number four, capture the flag events or CTFs. Once you're feeling good about your skills, capture the flag events are a great way to challenge yourself and learn. There are many different types of capture the flag events, the most common being the Jeopardy style, where users are given a specific challenge and the answer to the challenge is the flag. There's also attack defense CTFs, where teams are given a vulnerable system or network that they have to defend, while simultaneously attempting to attack or compromise other teams' systems. And recommendation number five is home labs and sandboxes. This is definitely a more extensive way to get hands-on learning. However, it is also the most customizable. This might be something that you wanna check out after you have hands-on in other areas. A home lab is the process of building out virtual machines and sandboxes on your personal computer. This can provide the user with a safe and controlled area to practice cybersecurity skills. Individuals can practice with various tools, techniques, and scenarios. However, it's not 100% and VM escape is still possible. So make sure that you're playing it safe. Ensure that your environment is well locked down, especially if you're playing with anything nefarious. All right guys, so those are my top five recommendations for getting hands-on skills that you can add to your resume, share with your network, and stand out to hiring managers. In tandem with these skills, I also recommend that you build out your professional network. Build out your LinkedIn profile and start networking with other professionals in the field. Add positive influences that can help you develop yourself professionally and personally. Until next time, everyone, my name is Jen. This is Alt Function. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.